Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, welcome back to EU4 in our Gothic Invasion run. When we last left off, we had just been in the middle of this lovely war with Austria, and we have plans to wipe out the HRE once and for all. All we need to do is take Pomerania, and then we can press this shiny button, because they're the only elector, and they're also the only emperor. So, yay us. We'll get 100 prestige, not that we really need it, I mean I guess... I guess if our Emperor died and then like we had like a bunch of crappy heirs or something, I guess we could do something about that, I suppose. But uh, other than that, there's really nothing too terribly exciting about, uh, you know, it's just a button press. It's really not that exciting. Kind of disappointing in, in some ways, but in other ways it's just part of life, so you know, let's uh, not make too big a deal out of it. How many men does Russia actually, or Russia, Austria actually have? 37,000 infantry, couple of cannons, couple more horses. No, I got those kind of in reverse, but you know, such is life. All right, Austria is doing stuff over there. We can finally tech up over here. We can actually have even bigger ships that did even bigger awesome damage, so that's pretty cool. And meanwhile, we're taking our land back. Norway is doing Norway related things. Pomerania is doing the smart thing and running away from me. I I don't really know if I'm gonna make too much of a you know what I should probably siege that back while we're just sitting here. Okay, that's good. You can go over there. We can convert another province to the one true god. And yeah, all of that is still doing... Oh, right, you can go over there now. Wipe out the Austrian Navy, because why not? Got this going on here. These guys are crossing over here. Oh, good! Great pr Yes! Yes! Once they uh, siege this, I can dismantle the HRE. Excellent. Well, that makes me happy. I am happy as a clam. Life could not be much better than it is right now. I mean, I suppose it could be, but, you know... Like, let's not, uh, let's not split hair, hairs here. Like, we've got a pretty good life. We've had a wonderful life. We've destroyed a ship. We are effectively... Oh, what's this? We took Kalmar. Kalmar. Oh, right. This place right here. Oh, good, good, good. We can do it. All right. Dismantle HRE. Huzzah! Wow, we don't even get, like, magical music or anything. It's just, well, it's done. I mean, like, that was one of, like, the most significant things. Napoleon did at the end, of, or during, you know, his whole, his whole play of the game, so Kind of disappointing in a way that that's like all that happens, like you get a hundred prestige and then just It's over But, uh Oh well, we don't always need, uh Big shiny bells and whistles, I guess, in order to Appreciate our awesomeness But it doesn't hurt either, so Oh wait, 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 we've got Austrians down here, so we should like totally Totally go do something to mess them up a little bit. Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's all coming together here. Oh, those guys took care of that for me. Good job. I've apparently done 75% of the work, so that's cool. All right, these guys are getting ready to move here. Kind of, you know, try to block them in. All right, we've fought some stuff. I wasn't even sure what we were fighting, but it happened. Uh, I hope Great Britain handles its Separatists okay. What is this? You know what? I don't even care about those Burgundian Separatists. Sure, go ahead and turn this off. Like, if they want to separate, assuming they haven't converted to Gothic culture, or, and by Gothic culture, I mean to, uh, Germanic culture. I, I mean, if they're not Germanic, I don't really care. Also, yeah, I guess you might as well go into port there, my good man. Okay, Austria is doing Austrian things in some corner of Austria. I mean, honestly, I kind of wonder if I could get away with uh, piecing out now for all the things that I want. My guess is the answer to that question is no. But I've been wrong before, so, you know, there is that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, free Sweden as well, why not? And return cores to Denmark, because... I'm just such a good guy that way. And also because I want to screw up Pomerania. Classic maneuver right there. 
Also, because Diplo points are for suckers. Oh, uh, well, sorry, Denmark. I can't give you everything back, but... Well, I guess I should give you that. You know what? I'll, I'll just ask for less money. Okay, that's not actually enough. Um, which one of these is the less... the less valuable? I guess that one. All right. Oh, that's still not enough, is it? Olnig. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is actually a good opportunity for me to apparently, uh, dang, if I could get this under 50%, apparently. Oh, wait, never mind. Actually, yeah, apparently, let, let's take a look at this. So apparently I can, uh, they'll, uh, they'll say no to my offer. And we can, uh, can get rid of all their admin points or something like that, apparently. As long as it's under 50%, under some percentage. You know what, what the heck, I, I actually don't want to, I don't want to mess with them that bad to, like, tank their, their stuff. Uh, okay, we'll turn that off. Turn cores. I and mean, I'll get them to return as much as possible. Because why not? I mean, yeah, screw, screw Norway. Give more to Denmark. Okay, never mind. Yeah, good enough. Alright, so yeah, we basically effed up uh, Pomerania just a little bit. So I feel good. I feel good about doing that, and... I have to imagine sieging this down is going to be enough to get rid of those guys. Ah, oh, no. Austria is going to... Oh, no. So many uh, separatists over here. I mean, I would love if uh, these separatists actually succeeded. I'm not going to count on it. Also, someone's under attack. What is this? Bohemian separatists. Oh, you know what? That actually doesn't... That's not too terribly bad. Also, is any of... Actually, none of this is, uh, German, so... That is German, though. So, yeah, we, uh... Yeah, we take things in this, like, weird line pattern that's gonna, like, completely mess me up. And... Yeah. 96% overextension? Not a problem. East Frisian Separatists? Also not a problem, probably. Also, will you actually accept this piece? They will. How much of this money do I get? I get more than half of it. That is pretty good. Okay. That worked. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself right now. Perhaps more impressed than I ought to be, but, uh, you know. No reason not to. Alright, let's uh, start the whole coring process here. Everything is... Perfect, and we've we've effectively locked off Austria from the the Ottomans, so the Turk is successfully contained, I guess, which is good. And yeah, not much left to worry about, especially if uh, where those oh the peasants are hiding. I should have turned off all the forts before we started this, because then yeah. And I'm not giving Austria military access. Those guys can go screw themselves. But, uh, yeah. That's yeah, a level 6 fort. I'll keep it. Fun times all around. Yeah, everyone's... Oh, you're not actually moving somewhere strategically useful, so you can go sit over there. Are you allied with Saxe Lowenberg? You are. Not that I ca should care too much about that. All right, good. So everything... Everything actually worked out here. More or less. And I could actually core everything in one go, so... Alright, I am very pleased. I am very pleased indeed. Though I suppose at this point I should consider cutting away and then just... How much money am I losing right now? That's yeah, a considerable amount, but I'm not terribly worried. Ooh! This is the one place I can produce coal, apparently. Alright, good enough. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, sort it by this. There we go. And also sort it by the money. 
It's probably fine. Oh, and Norway is fighting Sweden. Great Britain wants to marry me. Oh, if only you could die, Alfred II. Oh, I won't even inherit them. I'll just end up getting a guy. And yes, I will take that, uh, that extra stuff. And how are my... How are my friends and allies feeling? They're feeling pretty good. I mean, you're actually a little mad at me, but, uh... You'll get over it. Actually, you know what? To be honest, given uh, given where we're at in the state of things, I'm just gonna get rid of these forts. Like, they've served a purpose, a very valuable one, but uh, I wanna save a little bit of money. Look at that, now we're making money again. Thumbs up on that. The Ottomans have forced Norway to break their alliance with Austria. Okay, now, realistically, the Ottomans can only take this land from Austria they might be able to release vassals or something, but, um... Yeah, they shouldn't be able to take anything else, which is good. Yeah, I mean, unless these, like, mid-war turn... turn Germanic, in which case, you know, screw that. But, I mean, I guess that could happen. Russia declared war on Sweden. Ah, the war is... looking good. Also, how how are you doing? You're guaranteeing the independence of Hungary. Good luck with that. Of course, it also occurs to me, if I don't give the Ottomans access, then they can't win this war, so they're gonna be just kind of sitting there for a while. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll press the issue, because why not? I don't really plan on fighting the Ottomans anytime soon. I could, but generally seems like the kind of proposition that doesn't really get me anything terribly exciting. So, you know, don't worry about it. Ah yes, the East Frisian Separatists. Do I actually have... Oh yeah, I've got this whole stack that's just kind of sitting here not doing anything. But you can go over there. Alright, so... Yeah, this is... Like, it's not... This is like... It's like not technically the end of the series, but it like might as well be the end of the series because... Unless I have misread this... Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Let's see, conquer all Germanic culture provinces. It doesn't say all my provinces have to be Germanic. And also my primary culture has to be G uh, Gothic, so... Yeah, this should be fine. And we still have plenty of time in case we screwed up somewhere. That's, that's pleasant. Kind of weird, this is called North Germany, but it doesn't have any Germanic culture in it at all. Or does it? Oh, well, Bowies, but Bowies doesn't count, so it's all good. And I don't know. I honestly don't have much to say. This is just going to be kind of like us sitting here for a while. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut away for like, oh, don't don't destroy the Bohemian Separatist, man. Yeah, I'm going to like, I'm going to skip ahead like, I don't know, like 20 years or whatever. Oh, I guess uh, Austria is not going to join the fight against Saxe Lauenburg. So we're actually just gonna have to wait it out. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna, you know, kinda sit here and... I guess, uh, yeah, see what happens. So, yeah, I'll see you again shortly. Okay, and we are back. So, things are looking pretty good for us, I would dare say. I mean, uh... Austria, they really don't have the time to culture convert anything at this point, I guess, probably. So, we've got that going for us, and it's uh, almost time to declare war on these fellas again. Oh, 21. Right, right, right. Anyway, yeah, so, I guess I cut away too soon, but you know what? While we're, uh, while we're sitting here and just kind of waiting for things to happen, why don't we... I don't know, just kind of do a, a, a quick tour of the world while we're just, uh, you know, here. I mean, we got this. I mean, we got uh, the United States over here. Why do you keep doing this to me, game? Anyway, Floride, other floor. Wasn't there Floride up here? Yeah, Floride over there. Oh, what's this? 
Boo! That's a terrible error. Utterly average and boring. I want a man. Also, our old king died, and by died, I mean I had him abdicate the throne. Got British Columbia over here. We got Mexico. We got New Castile. We got Carib. Portuguese Columbia. I mean... The world is looking good. Some of our generals are dying, but that's a... That's a small price to pay, I guess, for excellence. And what what's going on over here in... I mean, I'll be honest with you. The Ottomans remain... Scary, but they're not... They're not terrible, are they? I mean, I'm actually the number one great power. That's pretty ballin' right there. Hey, could I uh, get you guys to knowledge share with me? I'm assuming no, because of the whole rival issue, but... Uh, wouldn't that be hilarious? I think it would be hilarious. And there's Ming over here. How do they feel about me? Ming doesn't hate me. You know what? Let's suck up to the Ming. Maybe they won't rival me. Oh, you're at war with Russia, huh? Cool story, cool story. You know, if Ru how is how big is Russia? I mean, yeah, Russia's pretty reasonably big. Can I knowledge share with you? Where is knowledge sharing anyway? Ah, there it is. Unflayed deficit. Tisk tisk. Anyway, yeah. Actually, I should see if there's anyone who would knowledge share with me just so I can get some sweet sweet ducats in there. Yeah, overall, I mean, the world is looking pretty interesting. I mean, it's basically made up of a whole bunch of giant blobs, but. That's entirely besides the point. Let's, uh, let's state up some land. I wish there was a... Actually, is there a way to sort out, uh, these things? Because I... Where is it? Development, estates, diplomacy. You know, I never use some of these, but I... Bet there could be some greater value to all this. Uh, oh, wow, I actually have the full state here. Only free 91, huh? 132. I'm presuming I could actually make myself a lot of money here if I just, uh... Yeah, core everything. I mean, it's gonna... It's gonna change some things, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I should probably... Yeah, not, not get too crazy here. Because, you know, we do have other important things to worry about. Okay, so the clergy and the nobles want some more land, is what you're telling me. Alright, this can go to the nobles. That'll, uh, satisfy them. And, uh, let's see. Is there something that's, like, really high in... In, uh... Wow, there's a lot of stuff that would be really good to give to... Yeah. Uh, Who's gonna call it? The, ah, here we go. Here's something to give to the clergy. Not quite enough to shut them up, but this should do it. I mean, it's even got it's even got grapes, which monks are known for making because you know. Oh, you know what? That's an interesting thing. I, hey, where was it? Raw, right there. Trading posts. You know what? I have never done anything with trading posts, like ever. So it it's of some mild interest to me that that's a thing. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to fight those one way or the other, so... Not get... Okay, yeah, see? Look at that. Delhi is no longer a valid rival. Uh... Don't really want any of these as my... Well, I guess the Ottomans. But they're only 55% bigger than me, apparently. I'm sure... Yeah, I just need to create my generic template name. And we are all poofed up to maximum poofiness. I wonder, do you think I should build a couple of... A couple of uh, heavy ships just to be like the tanks in our navy? What is the Ottoman navy looking like anyway? Yeah, they do have some heavy ships. They also have a hell of a lot of galleys. Yeah, I'm not even close to being able to compete with that, so... I don't know exactly what I was thinking there. But it was probably something good. In theory. Well, I guess, uh, like reconciling with the Ottomans is never gonna happen now. Oh well. It was a good dream while it, while it lasted. Also, have we... You know what, that does look like I have greatly increased my income, doesn't it? That's a plus. The Ottomans would never actually declare war on me, though, would they? I hope not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It occurs to me, if, uh... I mean, there's, there's actually no other cultures in here, so... 
Yeah, and none of this is, uh, yeah, none of this is Germanic, so. I mean, it actually would benefit me if they released this or something like that, just so that, you know, we didn't have to deal with them anymore. That's cool. Uh, oh, good, I can actually afford, well, once I have the money again, I can afford to build another, another grand army, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, if nothing else, right? What is it? Ooh, an exciting future. The atmospheric engine. Building on older experimental air pumps, an inventor from Bern has created a new type of engine that uses steam pressure to pump water out of wet mines. Oh, that's cool. Coal, iron, and copper provinces are now more likely to trigger industrialization events. Okay. That's cool. I like this whole industrialization thing that was added with Rule Britannia. How much money do I need to actually do this? 489, wow. My armies are expensive, but they also blot out the sun, so that's good. Also, Japan's declaring war on someone? Who are you declaring war on? Hacker against Shoni. All my generals are dying. I bet they're a tributary, aren't they? Yeah. So Japan is probably going to flub that, as they tend to do. But, uh, you know, they're, they're still doing good. I, uh, I applaud their efforts. All right, there we go. We got a couple of sweet general. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Actually, what generals are not sitting on, like, dangerous provinces? Not too many, actually. That's, uh... I mean, I might, I might as well drill some of them, right? Makes some sense. All right, good. Anyway, I look at the timer, and it's time to wrap things up. So I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay at... Or I'm going to pick the next episode up when we are able to, like, when the Ottomans finish their war. Because, you know, at this point, there's just kind of, we're kind of at a point where it's just, like, finishing up. So it's just going to be sitting and waiting for a lot of the stuff here on out. So, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to leave you guys with, like, this boring waiting. I'll do that on my own. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I'll see all you in the next video.